What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today it's a quick video I'm hoping. Um, lugs for the wheels came. Let's, uh, so let's get the wheels on the truck shall we? And uh, X-pipe for the exhaust came as well. So there we go. Flip it around. Let's uh, check out these lugs that I got. They weren't the ones that I thought that I ordered. But uh, they'll do. And they're splined. The best part about it is uh, they fit. Oh, come on, doing this one handed. They fit. So, and a tool fits around them. So, we'll have no issues there. Uh, and the cool thing, too, is they sent me two keys. In case I lose one, I guess. So I'm going to uh, jack the truck up, put these wheels on, and we'll be back to see what it looks like. Told you, it's gonna be a super quick one today. All right, guys, we got the front or the back on, and uh, they look pretty good. Not gonna lie. So, everything seems to, let me go around the other side, seems to work. So, yeah, what do you guys think? I know I'm starting to get rust from it sitting, and I took the running boards off, so that'll be addressed. But what do you guys think so far? It looks pretty good, eh? The red really, really pops now. Um, it's got this stuff in it. Counteract system. Um, there's a bunch of rubber balls inside the tire. Instead of a balancing, like, uh, like a, or, uh, weights, you know, like when you wait, when you get your vehicle's tires weighted or, you know, balanced and balanced and mounted and stuff well there's no balancing weight on the rims is what i'm trying to say it's like hot outside today guys rank hot i'm gonna have to get this done and i'm gonna have to go home and have a beer in the ac because it's just way too damn hot but yeah this is what it looks like so far uh, i'm gonna go put the front on and uh we'll see what it looks like all all done i'm excited oh well, yeah yeah the rubber, rubber yeah there's rubber balls inside the rim and that way it always stays balanced, always. All right, folks, there it is. She's on her wheels and she looks good. I know, I'm just obs I'm so obsessed with how this looks. These, I gotta paint, but otherwise everything worked out good. The lugs worked out really well. The best part is if, you had, if you're at the right angle, Look at that lip. Look at the lip on the wheel. That looks so good from an angle. Like, at, like even like this aspect, right? She's perfect. The front end sticks out a little bit more than the rear. And the front end's a little bit higher than the rear. But, well, bring it down uh, comment down below I've never lowered one of these before I've always lifted them <laughs> um, all I have to do is go underneath and lower the nuts or the bolts for the torsion arms right I think that's all I do is I back them out and it'll lower it and then if you tighten them it lifts it I don't know, comment down below you guys know more about it than I do but yeah let's do a quick walk around of it just looking sweet. Yeah. This is what I mean though, she's monster trucking. Like, look at that gap, compared to that gap. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and she's high up, like there's no jack stands under it. She's all on her own wheels. So, let's uh, see how the other side looks. The drinker side of things, people say. 
Speaking of, got myself my cold snacks for after. Now how does this side look? Oh, I got the, you guys can see I got that one quad back. We had them out the other day and uh, she decided to go pop again, so. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that back wheel just looks so good. It's everything, like, even the front, look at that. The aspect of it. I'm sorry folks, I, I'm, I'm geeking. I'm geeking. So, one thing too I noticed is that the motor that's in here is a lot lighter than the motor that came out. And I think that's why it's up. So, comment down below too uh, if you think that could be why. So, let's go check out a booty shot. Uh, don't mind my license plate. You guys know the deal. Um, I haven't, I didn't paint the uh, diff cover because I'm gonna be, we're gonna be doing some stuff with that later on. So, yeah, I should have painted the back of the hubs there, or the back of the, the drums, but, so yeah, should I lose the uh, mud flaps? What do you guys think? I think I keep them, they protect my, you know, they protect shit, so. Yeah, she looks good, 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 good. All right, well, that's where I'm gonna end this part of the video. Um, I don't know if I'll have more stuff coming. Uh, this week, so maybe this will just be the Thursday video. Um, maybe. Um, like I said, the Y pipe came, but I can't attach it to my muffler where, how I wanted to. I gotta do a little bit of finagling, which is not a big deal. Um, the other rest of the whole exhaust kit should be here within the, like by the end of the week. I'm hoping. If not, well, thank you guys so much for you tuning in. Um, checking me out today while I put the wheels on the Tahoe finally and we geeked out while we looked at it because oh they're nice like they they're they, they they're pretty so also comment down below where I should put the weld decals I was thinking of putting one like here or even here on either side and then on the back glass somewhere probably in the line up over like right over there so but comment down below, tell me what you guys think. I'm going to keep nerding out on this, and then I'm going to go home and have a cold snack and make some uh, lasagna for the kiddo. Oh, I hit the dang wrong button again, folks. <laughs> so anyways, like I said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, well, thank you so much for the support. Uh, I started this channel a year ago, and uh, a lot has changed in here with the truck. Like, looking back and now, it's like, wow. Wow, I did all that in a year. So I know a lot of people could have done it sooner, but like, I got I got my kids, so they they always come first, right? Um, I it was just pretty much did this in my spare time. So, but uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, uh, coming along for me for the journey. We surpassed my goal for the year, which is just mind boggling. Like I wanted to get to 50 subs. We're at 63 and, and rising. So, cool. Thank you guys. I can't wait. Um, I'm going to, you guys are going to be, you know, you're going to love what comes next, like with the channel, what we do, uh, or what, what, what I do when the truck is running. So, and we, we're out having fun with it. You guys are going to like what I have all planned and scheduled. Uh, a lot of it will be well, early next year because winter time here shuts a lot of stuff down. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and uh, head home. So, thank you guys. Love you. God bless.